This movie is about the Quick Access Toolbar, or the QAT. We'll talk about what the QAT is. We're going to move it around a little bit, move it below the ribbon, add command buttons to it, and explain sort of what most people utilize it for. This is a quick movie on the Quick Access Toolbar, the introduction to the Quick Access Toolbar. It's this structure right here. There isn't much to it right now. This is the default view of the Quick Access Toolbar. We have the Save icon, the Undo, and the Redo buttons, which are both grayed out because we haven't done anything in the workbook to redo or undo. The first thing I want to tell you is that the Save icon is something you will use often. Either you'll use that or there's another way to save your workbook, which is Control S. Might be a little quicker for you. In either case, as you're working within your workbook, just know that your work is not saved. Any changes that you make in your workbook will not be saved until you actually save the workbook. Up to that point, they're saved in random access memory, and you'll lose your work if you close your workbook without saving your workbook. Of course, there are backup copies that are maintained by Excel by default, and we'll get into that later on. But as a general rule, Make it a habit to save your work as you go. If you're happy with something, you made a change, control S, save it. That way you'll never lose it. Having said that, back to the quick access toolbar. I'm going to show you how you can move it below the ribbon. And why would you want to do that? Well, it's kind of stuck up in the corner there, and it's not very prominent. It's not very accessible. It doesn't make a huge difference to change its location, but it helps a bit to show it below the ribbon. It makes it more prominent. It sort of becomes part of the set of commands that you have readily available to you. So we have the save icon, we have the redo and undo button. There are also in the standard quick access toolbar other commands that you can add fairly easily by left clicking this drop down. You see that save, undo, and redo are checked and of course those are the commands that are showing on the current quick access toolbar. We can add any of these just by left clicking them and the command buttons will just populate in there in the order that we add them. Now, the nice thing about the Quick Access Toolbar is it is always displayed regardless of where you are in the ribbon. We're on the Default tab, the Home tab, but I'm going to left-click the Insert tab, the Page Layout tab, and any of these other tabs, and the Quick Access Toolbar maintains its position and its visibility regardless of where you are in the ribbon. This can be a nice feature for you if you load up the Quick Access Toolbar with those commands that you used most often. In a subsequent movie, we'll also talk about some command options that are not displayed in the default version of the ribbon, nor are they on this list, and some of those commands are very useful to have. So that's the Quick Access Toolbar in a nutshell. It's a convenient way to have available to you commonly used commands regardless of where you are on the ribbon makes things a little bit more convenient.